Hey everybody and welcome to part 2 of Banjo-Kazooie Gruntilda's Revenge. So, yeah, like I said, we're here in this world and let's see if uh, you got a new move. Right, Banjo, it looks like you've got enough notes to learn the underwater dive. Great, I can't wait to take a dip in some watery crevices. Let's see. You need to find a spot with plenty of air, so stick to places where bubbles rise to the surface. When you're near them, bubbles, just press R to take a dive. While you're down there, use A to swim higher and make sure you keep topping up your air supply. Oh, and press R to head back to the surface. Okay, I'll give it a try. Are there any bubbly water spots around nearby? Why not try that pool near to the left? Okay, cool. Eh, every Game Boy game tends to start off with a farm for some reason. Oh, right here, you mean? Okay. Eh, interesting. Woo! Got a jiggy, guys! I can't attack underwater. Oh, I can just press R. That is actually really smooth and easy to do. I don't actually mind the swimming mechanics in this game. It beats the original. That's for certain. Like, you can't knock things off the tree or anything. Man, you got you enemies. They don't always give health if you ever notice. Hey, we get something new here, too. Okay, so we need 40. Okay, it's just grand total that we need. So let me just go around and make sure we haven't missed anything before we talk to Bazai again. And, you know, learn our new move. Yeah, so enemies respawn after a while. We don't need the Jinji. The Jinjo Oracle Jinji. That's what we nicknamed our puppy dog, Ginger. You know, kind of like Jinji, the, uh. Gingerbread cookie from Shrek. Hmm, 22. So we're about a quarter of the way there almost. Whoa, was not expecting some evil vegetable to use its weird vine like tentacles to attack us. Yeah, your rawness isn't very scary, dude. There it help. You're not very hard to get up there, little Jinjo. It's kind of cool, though, that there's, like, a Jinjo Oracle now. There's, like, so much to just do and go around in this area. It's crazy. In a way, I kind of wish there was a map. So, yeah, let's go over this way. So there's clearly, like, flaming sheep or something going on here. Hehehe! <laughs> I having fun! I not let bleeders come out of pen! <laughs> I don't think they want to play anymore, Gruntweed! You not stop by playing with little bleeders! Hehehe! <laughs> Please, Mr. Bear! Save us from the bear grunt weed! Okay, so we just got. Oh, yeah, but that's kind of lame. That was it, guys. Here you go. Free at last! Thank you for saving us from that burning creature! You can take that golden jiggy in our pen if you like. Okay. Sweet, we get a jiggy. Awesome, gotta go through the beautiful music. I love that music. Okay. Um, I don't think I'm... I thought he got like a vine attack. Okay, it doesn't look like we're missing anything. Pretty sure we should have went by and stopped back at, um, Bazai, but I kind of didn't. So let's... Okay, you can't go in the... Oh, wait, no, it was up here, right? Yeah, it was up here where the waterfall was. Okay, no, it's okay. It's, they don't really come down and attack with tentacles. They just smack the ground at weird angles, so it looks like they do stuff like that. Okay, let's dive. Oh, hey. Kind of like how it sounds like um, Donkey Kong in here. Let's leave. <laughs> uh, yeah. Farm Heights. Uh, I don't think I want to go all the way up here quite yet. Okay, that one just wait because it's slow, so just wait till it, you know, maxes out. Let's go back to Bazai here and see if he has any new moves. Because I'm pretty sure we need something to climb. Like there's vines and stuff we've seen in like the previous area. So how far was it? Man, you just go so far in this level. Okay, yeah, we don't need you because you're just simply um Oh, I can't believe I did that. That was just bad. There you are. 
You need 40 for this song. Right then, Banjo. You've got enough notes to learn how to climb. Looks like I'll need to use this move pretty soon. Okay, all you've got to do is find something like a ladder or a vine, then push up on the control pad. When you want to get off, just press A to let go. Try climbing them ladders behind me, and I'll see you across the bridge. Okay, I'll see you up there. Okay, wait, so... I'm assuming, um... Ah, uh, we have to go across the bridge that we've seen up there. There is a cave over there, though. That's kind of suspicious. Hey, right here, Jinjo. So I'm assuming it, they're all specific color Jinjos for a world. Oh, hey, a chicken is up here. A chick, chick, chicken. Chick, chick, chicken. Hang on a second, guys. Okay, that was weird. Just had some issues to deal with. Oh, please help me. A cruel gruntling has stolen 12 of my eggs and taken them down the slippery slide. Sounds like you could use a hand. Oh, do watch out for the the springy spikes. They'll knock you off, of course. Oh, my poor chicks. Okay, so I assume we go down here. Oh, God, this is weird. I don't like this. It doesn't seem overly difficult, but... I have a feeling this is going to be a reoccurring concept in this. There we go, we got everything! So that should be a jiggy for us. Oh, my eggs, thank you! Here's a little something to show my appreciation. And now we have to go all the way back up. Thanks a lot there, henbag. It's funny, because like, to get- actually, you can't just keep going up. Okay, the worst thing is the enemies that come up to the top there. That's like bull. And there's our next Jiggy. Oh, my kitty just ran away for some weird reason. Okay, let's see if we can jump across there. Okay, good, we can. Ah, there's a Jiggy- er, Jiggy. Why do I keep saying Jiggy? They're music notes. No! We fell off the cliff. Eh. There's lots of tentacles up here with um some with a jiggy in it. There we go, fourth jiggy. Oh yeah, and this just loop just loops around. Okay, so now we gotta go back. Um Is it actually up here? Yeah, it is up here. Okay, so we actually caught back up to where we were supposed to go. So it was better to go that one way first. Hmm, looks like there's a lot going on in this farm. Oh hey, another one. Whatever am I going to do? My five little chicks are out playing, and the farm is crawling with monsters. What if they eat my babies? Why don't I see if I can bring them safely home? Oh, thank you. I'm sure I'll find a way to repay your kindness. Right then. I'd better be on my way. Bye, Mama Clucker. Yeah. I can see that being misinterpreted for something else. These enemies are actually annoying to dodge. There's a lot of music notes around here. Oh, there they are. Oh, okay, we can't go around there. Let's take out the tentacle ourselves. Come up here, grab the little chick. We need five of them. Remember that, guys. We need five. Die, little fool. Alright, I don't need that, so I won't even bother. This is just a waste of time. I wonder if there's anything under here. Okay, so you can't dive, actually, if the, if it's, you know, not the right type of water. That's good to know. Don't know why there are tentacles everywhere. Yeah, see, I'm pressing R and it doesn't do anything. Oh, look. That's kind of cool. I think you can swim faster going downstream, which is excellent. We'll actually be able to get a lot done in one, uh one episode, because these levels, I don't think they're going to be too long. They might get more difficult as time progresses, you know, because this is only level one. Hmm. If I were a little smaller, I might just squeeze in there. Okay, so it looks like we need to be small to get in there. Oh, that was a little chick. Oh, Banjo, with all the baddies about. It doesn't feel safe to bathe in the sheep dip. Please give the little bad eaters a hand to get into the dip. 
press the control pad left and right to move. And hold the B to power up your cast. The longer you hold the button, the further the bait will fly when you let go. And if you can catch 12 sheep before the timer runs out, you deserve a reward. Okay, I was tired of doing that accent. Yeah! Yeah. This is annoying. Mid range, perfect. Yeah. Darn it. Oh, two sheep. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is interesting. Okay. I don't know why. I don't know why sometimes it works to grab them and other times it doesn't. They kind of do this on a lot of Game Boy games though, just because there's not a lot of mechanics they can do. So, right there, maybe? Right there! Okay, we're gonna have to retry this again. This is weird. Okay. Yeah, it was a little wooly. Okay. I don't know why it needs to reset them. Oh my god! Okay, that was annoying. There we go. Mid range. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, long range. Let's do this. Perfect. Excellent. How did that miss both of them? There we go. Double sheet power. We only need four more to go. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. No. Oh, come on. Oh, right, you can just press B to skip the entire dialogue. Okay, right, sheep. go. Excellent. Just wait here for these sheep to come by. Oh, this is actually a pretty difficult challenge. Not because it's hard, just the time limit you get is pretty bad. No, you weren't actually supposed to fire that out, but sure. I don't get why that doesn't work, like, you know? I know it's meant to grab the further away ones, but why can't you just grab the ones in between that it touches? Oh yeah, we almost lost! Bravo! Here you go! You go. And I'm assuming there's nothing up there, just the challenge. So yeah, that's five now. We're almost done them all. I think we're almost done at all. I'll check later on if, you know, see if we got everything or not. Uh, let's go up here, maybe? On the tin roof? What is this place? Oh, that's where our health upgrade is. Okay, cool. And we can go into this... Hang on a second, there's a chicken right here. Let's go in here. Wait, hang on. Before... Okay, never mind, there's nothing out here. Bluff Barn. What's this? Oh, yeah. interesting. I wonder what it is. Okay, I get that, but how come, what's this? Okay, weird. I don't get this. What is it? Hmm. So it looks like it's uh, some kind of shrink pad, but I don't think we have the ability to use it yet. So let's just continue on up this hill. Oh. Okay. Interesting. What's this? Alrighty. Good to see you brought enough of them glittery stuff. 
you, this is helpful, useful rock attack. Just be while you're on the move, on the move to reel them, keep reeling, uh, why not have a try on the roll switch over there? Sounds like that. just the attack I'm looking for, Balzai. Okay, cool. It is the attack we're looking for. Oh. Okay, it literally just activates the roll. Seems a little weird to, you know, just have it activate, but I'm not gonna complain about it. Seems easy enough. Now it's this. Oh yeah, that's weird. Oh, it activates a weird warp pad, I guess. What's this do? Klungo's lab. <laughs> Clunkle make grunty monstrous crop of grunt weeds and whiplashes for Gruntilda. If Clungo's GM baddies make grunty happy, Clungo show mistress fair removal formula next. Okay. I'm assuming this is like a mini boss fight. How Bear get past Richie Warp and into Clungo's secret room? Clungo give Bear a taste of new formula. Okay. He's got a shield. Okay, wait. Oh, god darn it. So it looks like this is just a boss fight where you gotta... Yeah, just avoid him until, you know, he... Takes his shield off. Ah! How many times are you gonna throw that? Oh, yeah, I see. It's, like, super easy. Uh. Oh yeah, that that kind of stung, but oh well. He's really easy to avoid everything else. Oh yeah, okay, I figured he was going to do it a third time. Yeah. So yeah, instead of just, like, you know, using the formula in a different way, you just do that. Arg! Klungo had enough bashing for now. Klungo go help Grunty get ready to make bear skin rug. So you just lit- and a mumbo skull. Hmm. That was actually pretty funny, don't you guys agree? Like, that was actually pretty funny. Okay, anyways. Let's, uh, let's war- I always forget, it's not B. What a brave bear! You've knocked some magic out of Grunty and Krongo! Take this token to Mumbo Jumbo, the witch doctor. He might be able to find a use for it, but I didn't know you know his name was Mumbo Jumbo. I don't think. Oh, wait, so. No, never mind. You can't go in there if you wanted to, anyway. That's not something you can do. Okay. I thought maybe I could go through there, but, um. Apparently not. Um, now let's see. Let's see if there's something we can do around here. Why didn't I roll? That was weird. That's just the mini game. Can I go into your house? No, I can't go into there. Like, we're still looking for all the little chickens, right? Yeah, we need to go over there. Oh, okay, that was easier than I was expecting. Never mind. We almost have everything in the level. We just need one more little chick. Hey, Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo's pad. Banjo have new totem for Mumbo Magic. Mumbo hope this turn out all right. Mumbo change Banjo to something now? Yes. This is weird. This is like crazy weird. Are you gonna- oh, he's still doing his magic, I guess. This is a little, uh, weird. There we go. Wait, what? No. Apparently I must have clicked the wrong button. I guess we just go in here and press A? I accidentally press B. That's how it works. Sweet. It's a disco ball, really? Now we're a mouse. With big butt. 
Okay, so yeah, he just calls it the mouse, and now we can squeeze into tight areas. Yeah, we're cute. We're super cute. Eh, he wouldn't leave me alone. Hey, there's a uh, there's a Jinjo in here. There's all five. The Jinjos are united. Your reward awaits. Okay, so we have to go back to the beginning level. Pretty sure though, that's also how we leave the levels by going back. At least I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we can actually attack in this form. Now we can go into that house. Pretty sure the house will have a jiggy. Or at least something of some importance in here. In we go. Maybe not a jig. No, it has... It's another health piece. Oh, okay, those are dangerous. Don't touch them. We need to go down there, apparently. Oh, there's the hole. We only need ten more, everybody. Okay, this is uh, looking kind of weird. How do we get up there now? Oh, okay, I just bite it. That's weird. I just nibble on it with my little teeth. <laughs> Glitchy platforms for the win. Okay, then to leave, we just... Can I actually leave underneath? Looks like I could leave underneath. No, you can't leave underneath. It just looks like you can. Oh, you can't leave back up this way. Okay. Now, these episodes are going to be a little longer, because I it is a blind Let's Play, uh, you know, other than the fact that, you know, it's Banjo-Kazooie and it's for the Game Boy. But I don't think we actually need any other ability to complete the level, so we should be able just to scroll through. Or stroll through, depending on you know, how you look at things. Can we swim? Nope! Apparently... Apparently swimming means death when you're in mouse form. Okay, and then you just come back out here. Okay, let's not go into the water then. Okay, no, we don't want to go this way. We've already been this way. Like you can't bite on that. No! Why did you fall in the water, you darn mouse? Alright, okay, so I think we're literally done with um, what Mumbo has for us. So, we just have to go back to Mumbo's skull and turn into Banjo again. So we're just missing one chick. No, you're supposed to go on the mouse pad. Okay, or not. Banjo wants to change? Yes. The fact that we gotta go back here every time is annoying. Uh, we can turn into a bear or a mouse. So I'm assuming there's only a set amount of transformations in this. Right, there we go, we're back to normal. It takes a while to transform in this game. It doesn't even have a cool animation, either. Mm. So we can roll. I don't know why we had to unlock the roll ability in this game, it just seems a little weird that we did. What are the missing notes? How did you touch that, Banjo? There we go. Oh, you found all my chicks. Please bring them back safely. Okay, now we have to backtrack, so I'm pretty sure the rest of the notes will be down here. Pretty sure we didn't miss anything else. Just need two more. One more. One more, don't hit the tentacle. Wait, we can still swim under here. Oh, come on! Darn it, we're all the way back here. That's weird, that bush just seems so out of place. Okay, I didn't get why we couldn't pass that tentacle. under here. Okay, we can't go there. There's one freaking note missing. Okay, I wonder if we can check the totals for this level. 
Okay, so the final Jiggy will be with, um, the Jinjo uh, Oracle, but where is, where is everything else here? Oh my god, how do I get out of here again? Oh yeah, right here. Dude. Oh, I just feel like there's nothing left in here. Now, how do I get... Man, how do I do this again? I need on the other side. I guess I can come here. Duh. Did I mean to, did not mean to land on your head. There we go, there's her Jiggy. She literally just tells us the same stuff over and over. Here we go. Wait a minute. I wonder if I can get in there as being tiny, but I don't want to risk that. You know, just take up more time than we need to. I'll probably find the missing note if I don't find it in this episode by myself on my like own time. Otherwise, um, I don't know. It's, it's gonna be annoying to you know not be able to find the one missing note. Is anything in here with you guys? Nope, nothing. It is also yellow, and everything tends to be yellow in this area. Especially around here. Hey, well, there's the Jiggy. And there's the final one. Ah, oh, that was gonna get a double kill there, but apparently I couldn't. So yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here, and then in the next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if, if I can find us that missing Jiggy. I hope that guy that doesn't bug you guys too much that I can't find it on screen. But this is getting to be a pretty lengthy episode, and I don't want to take all day with the how long it is. Because, you know. Anyways, see you guys next time.